Hey. So, back in probably late May of 2024, I uh, went on a two-week trip to Japan, and um, I realized I made a video about um, going to Japan, but um, never really a follow-up one about uh, the things that I saw or the things that I did there. Um, so, um, I guess I never really made a video because there was just so much that I did and saw there, and to unpack all of it would realistically be a several hours long video, and I um, think that it's more worthwhile to unpack it piecemeal, just piece by piece as something reminds me about it, and um, maybe share it that way instead. Um, for that matter, I mean, I think that Japan's a popular tourist destination that a lot of people want to go to anyway, so... Um, well, I'm more than happy to share my experiences. I know that everybody wants to go there to see something different. So, um, while I was there, like I said, I saw and did many different things there, but uh, one of my favorite things that I did there was went to the shrines. Um, Shinto shrines, they are scattered all over the land. They're not really an uncommon thing, like, um, like trying to find a cathedral in the States, but pretty much every small town, city, prefecture, um, there are shrines everywhere and one of my favorite things to do there um, was uh, the very first one that I went to it was uh, oh where did we stay um, I think it was called the Precure Hotel it was um, maybe about a 15 minute drive from the Haneda airport and uh, maybe about a 10 to 15 minute walk from our hotel was the um, Haneda Inari Shrine so the very first thing that I did once I got there, um, I bought a shrine book. Um, so this this is my shrine book. I bought this while I was in Japan. Um, it has uh, the emblem of the um, shrine itself there. Um, Inari means fox in Japan. And um, there's a lore about exactly what the, the fox and the significance of this shrine. Um, I could go on and on about... Um, I guess Shintoism and why each shrine um, encapsulates usually some sort of a deity. Um, in this case, it was uh, a, a fox god. But um, I'll save that for some other time. So yeah, this book is um, probably the favorite thing that I got in Japan. It's um, just an empty blank book when you get it. But for a, a small donation to each shrine, usually about 500 yen, which um, conversion rates change. But when I was over there, it was only about $3. Um, they would uh, put a stamp on the inside of it. Um, some places a stamp was actually like physically a rubber stamp that they would put into some ink and then uh, stamp into the book. But in other places, they actually had... Um, shrine workers uh usually shrine shrine maidens that would be in the back and they would by hand they would actually sign the book um now shamefully i went to japan without knowing uh much japanese at all so i couldn't read this um if i run google translate on it it'll tell me what it says but um yeah i can't just tell you right away um, I can confirm this one is from the um, the Inari Shrine in Haneda because the logo in the background I recognize as being um, another emblem that was uh, popular at that shrine. Um, a lot of times shrines will offer more than one stamp. So uh, here's another one, and this one you can see is more of like the rubber stamp that they uh, they just stamped on there however everything right here is handwritten um and you can tell that this one's from the Haneda shrine again because it's got the same emblem on it that uh we can find on the front of the book and this on the next page over is another one from Haneda and the reason we can tell that is because this emblem here matches the one on the other page so <clears throat> At that particular shrine, I got three stamps. Um, I carried this book with me everywhere in Japan, and whenever I saw some shrine somewhere, I uh, so long as like the rest of the, everyone else in the party was uh, not in too much of a rush to get to our next uh, um, reservation or anything, I would uh, stop everywhere that I could to get these. Um, some places they actually didn't have somebody on hand who could put um, 
the stamp into the book, in which case they had remade ones. So for the same thing, usually about 500 yen, you would go up and um, you'd pay them and they would give you this. The point of it being that you could um, later on um, paste it or glue it or tape it or just put it in, into your book. Um, this one, I can't say right away where I got this one, but um, cool emblem. Let's see. This one, this one might have came from Wayno Park. Um, let's see, because I do recognize the emblem on this one is emblematic of uh, Wayno Park. It's got, um, I believe these are like water lilies. Um, but that was uh, the primary emblem of, of the shrine in Wayno. Um, again, it's very cool. All of this is all hand brushed. Um, obviously the the pink or the orangish are things that they did with a, a stamp but um yeah it's just very cool i can't necessarily read it um i have looked back at this um like i said I, I use google translate on my phone and using the camera function it'll tell me exactly what it says and they all say where they're from <clears throat> so it's uh just a really cool way to look back and be like oh wow look at how much of japan i explored and visited and um like I said, the, the shrines were really probably the coolest part for me. Um, let's see, this is a pretty simple one. I can't tell right away where this one came from, but um, this is another printed one that I, I bought somewhere. Um, this was probably from one of the bigger shrines. Um, and I say that just because um, the things like printed on the glossy paper um, as opposed to being handwritten. And when you're at uh, an especially large shrine, they simply don't have enough people on hand to create um, a, a handwritten stamp in everybody's book um, for the number of people that show up. So in that case, they've just got these printed ones. And um, still, I mean, you, you make a small donation to the shrine and they give it to you for your shrine book. Um, let's see. I can't remember where this emblem was from. but Oh, and uh, they usually give you a small piece of like tissue paper almost that goes between your... Um, between your stamps just because like um when you get a fresh one i mean looking at the size of these strokes it leaves quite a bit of ink behind and it would just be a shame for um you to close your book and you've ruined one uh one stamp because the other one bled over into it so um still very cool i uh i love the calligraphy i i love being able to look back and see where i went um like I said, the, the bigger shrines give you sometimes, um, it's usually just like a, a stamped one or a, a printed one on glossy paper. But I found that my favorite shrines to visit while I was over there were um, the smaller shrines. Um, don't get me wrong, like um, the Inari Shrine in Kyoto, it's one of the most famous ones. I'm, I'm sure that uh, everybody's seen pictures of it. Um, it's uh, a pretty strenuous mountain path um, going up. Uh, hundreds of stairs there's um hundreds maybe thousands of these uh big orange tori gates that you pass under as you climb up the mountainside um very famous i'm sure everybody's seen it but uh it's a very photogenic place a lot of people were stopping and taking pictures and um it uh it was just kind of crowded um the smaller one um the inari shrine in haneda like i said was probably my favorite one because there was several different aspects of it. There was um, a lot of easy to read and understand the, the lore of it and um, who the uh, the Inari um, god was and why it was important to the shrine in the area. Um, with, at the same time, it wasn't too overwhelming and there weren't too many people there. Um, but yeah, it was just uh, just really nice. Oh. So I'm pretty sure this is another Wayno one, because if I remember, I'm pretty sure that logo is from Wayno. Ah, uh, yeah. So this one, they actually gave to us in a small little envelope. And I thought that was pretty cool. That's that's a cool mascot, kind of cute. Um, I want to say it's a Tanuki, although it kind of looks like an otter, maybe. Um, Again, I'm sure that if you ran this through Google Translate, it would probably tell you. But, 
Um, this one, I don't know. Some parts of this look like they might be handwritten up the side of it. Um, but a lot of that one was just a stamp, but <clears throat> Wayno's a larger, I want to say a larger shrine, but a little bit more popular. I'm, I'm not sure if they had the people on hand to be making individual ones. Ooh, ah, I know where this one's from. So this is another one that I got while I was... This is the other Inari shrine, the one that everybody knows. This is the one, the uh, Inari shrine in Kyoto. So, let's see. Yeah, again, I can't read it, but it's cool. Like I said, I can I can look back and see like, ah, yeah, yeah, I know where this is from. I remember that. Um, the other interesting thing is the little flourish that they've added to the paper. As I kind of move it from side to side, you can kind of see that there's um, some almost silver uh, portions. It's it's all handmade paper, so it's very cool. Put that back in there, and of course at each shrine, I got the um, come on, I got the stamp at each one, but I also stopped and got plenty of other souvenirs from the shrines. Um, they're my favorite places. Um, there was cool stuff in, uh, boy. Well, like I said, that's for another, another time. All of the cool stuff that I saw. This video is more specifically about my favorite of all the things. My favorite souvenir that I brought back. Um, like I said, I carried this book with me everywhere in Japan. Um, they get a lot of rain in Japan and I was constantly in fear that um, I'd get caught in a, an unexpected rainstorm and that um, my book with all of this uh, ink in it would get completely ruined. So at some point I actually even found, um, I think it was uh, a small trash bag like you would put into um, like a, a bathroom trash can or something. And I wrapped the book in that whenever I would put it in my backpack, just specifically so that if I got caught in the rain, it wouldn't ruin this book. So um, the other cool thing about this is that the book isn't bound. Let's see if I can show that. Yes. And the pages are actually in their accordion style. So if I somehow filled up every single page in this, I could flip it upside down, remove the cover and put it on the opposite way, and then fill it up on the opposite side of the pages. So um, this is just a book that I picked up at the uh, Anari Haneda Shrine and every one of the shrines that we went to were selling these kind of books and they were um there were a lot of really beautiful designs um several times i almost bought a second one just because it was such a beautiful book um but then i'd have uh stamps in like four different books and it just seemed like it'd be hard to keep track of all of that but yeah yeah japan was a lot of fun and um i would definitely go back someday Hmm. Would I bring this shrine book or would I buy a new one so that I could remember all of those stamps in this one are from when I went in 2024 and maybe another one for um, stamps when I go next time? I don't know. I guess that's a future, a question for future Kawaori, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.